Probe the Act on Deep Probe Soft the Radio. Deep Probe Soft. Hello, hello, hello. I'm Lenny Hickens, your host. Welcome to Probe the Act. A show where we get to dig into the lives of the people behind the music you hear here on Deep Stuff Radio. Where the artist tells us a bit more about who they really are. Ooh, that sounds scary. Ask me if a laugh, by the way, in case you're guessing. Thank you and welcome to the show. I'm Emmy Hickens and you're listening to Deep Stuff Radio. And uh, with us in the studio today, we have Sean Taylor. Now, Sean, before I start, I um, I actually visited your uh, SoundCloud page. And I'm just going to read out some of the things that is said there, which is really beautiful. Um, it says, it says, yeah, it says, I'm a song, I'm a singer songwriter from Scotland. My family is very musical with both parents writing songs and playing a number of instruments. My great, great auntie, Jean Robertson, was a famous folk singer and my great, great uncle being globally known for singing folks, Boothy ballads and his storytelling my mother and father were involved in many outfits stroke bands since i can remember i have written songs since i was 13 14 years old i also dabble into poetry now also which i very much enjoy there are tours and albums always being planned so i will keep you posted on soundcloud of any changes and future happenings Sean ah, that's a really great profile there so um, how did you get started in music well I was about 13 14 I originally um, was into boxing from about <laughs> the age of 9 10 till about, about 13 14 <laughs> But you know, it's it's a better career, isn't it, than getting punched in the face constantly? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? So, but but you know, I found something that I really liked, and and, and I haven't looked back since. You know, mm, that's beautiful. So, can you tell our listeners at home today about uh, Sean Taylor as an act? I know I've just read that out, but um, can you tell us the background of your musical career? How, how I started, you mean? Yeah, you know, because uh, on your profile it says you're, uh, you, you've got musical parents. So, yeah, that's right. You know, and, and uncles. And uh, and is that something that's influenced you in life? I, I don't actually think so, because it was my own choice to get into it. But it, it helps if your parents are musical, yeah. I, I say it does help. Whatever field that you want to go into, if your parents do it, it's always helpful. You know, but I just wanted to get into it myself, and and um, like I said, I've never looked back, and I started writing songs at that age, and you know, because I couldn't play anyone else, so, <laughs> so I think you know, I started, so I had to write one. <laughs> That's true, yeah. You know, and um, I researched online at the time how to sing because I couldn't sing, I couldn't, I still can't, can't, still can't sing. <laughs> but, um, but you know, I downloaded this thing, and it give you all these breathing techniques and things like that for singing. Told you about your stomach and you know about the diaphragm and things like that. Yeah, and um, I've actually listened to some of your songs, and uh, and two of my favourites was "If I Had a Bit of Money" and and the other one is uh, "Why Would You Leave" or something. Why would you? Why 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 won't you leave? Is that is that am I getting that right? <laughs> What? Why do you call me? Is that it? Yeah, why do you call me? Sorry about that. Yes, yeah. that's it. And um, I've noticed that you play the guitar. Yeah, that's right. Is that yeah. something that is self-taught? Yeah, pretty, pretty much. I, I got a chord book when I was really young and, and learned myself. That's brilliant. I'm very independent, you see. Yeah. Right. I mean, that, that, that comes across in your music as well, you know, because... Uh, I mean, I mean you, you don't get a lot of single acts these days. You always get people in a band because they need that support. So it, it, it must be re- it must be really a brave thing for you to do to you know to, to come out as a as a solo act. Yeah, I, I 
guess so, but um, yeah. I guess, I guess, I guess yeah. it would be. Yeah. So, where, where I, mean, I mean, have you ever been in a band? Yes, I was. I was in a band when I was nineteen. Um, they were called the Mist. The the mandolin player's father used to call it the most missed live band in Aberdeen. <laughs> <laughs> that was a joke. <laughs> Um, yeah, it was fun to get in a band, and we probably done more um, practicing than gigging. But it was a nice experience, and who knows, maybe I'll get in a band one day in the mm. future, as well as do my solo stuff as well. Because some solo acts do do that. You know, some, sometimes they'll, they'll they'll decide to go in a band, and but they'll still have their solo thing as well. Yeah. Like like Robbie Williams, you know, he has he, he but a few years we had take that, and he was also doing his. His solo thing as well. Yeah, it was, yes. It was a different sound, isn't it? Yes. So when you was in a band, um, where where were all the members from in the band? Where were they from? One of the members, I think Lewis, was from Falkirk. He was the more mature member of the band. He was, I think, in his mid-twenties. <laughs> <laughs> um, Colin, I think, was from Aberdeen. The rest were from Aberdeen. Yeah. Including myself. But apart from Lewis, he was from Falkirk. Wow. So, do you did you do everything in the band? I mean, what 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 was your what role did you play in the band? Well, basically, when it started, they they played some chords, and I was writing the song, you know, creating the melody from the chords they were playing, and um, and and, and I was happy enough for that. And also, Lewis, um, the more mature member, he wrote some songs as well. Right. You know and. But the band split up themselves through arguments that they were having. <laughs> you, know, you know, it's like egos and all that stuff. Yeah. When they actually, when the band, actually, when the band ended, it was actually nothing to do with me. Right. So I was quite happy with that. I thought, oh, it's not my fault. <laughs> <laughs> They're arguing amongst themselves. <laughs> <laughs> so how, how many, how many acts do you have in the band? How many people were, were in this band? There was me, there was Colin... About four. But we had a drummer as well, but I think he played in, in a couple of bands. Right. So he wasn't really our drummer. So about four. Right. So uh and I and I know that now you're uh, you're a solo artist which is uh like I said earlier, which is a brave thing to do. So what what was what what were your ambitions when you first started? When I first started writing songs. Yes. Just just to um get better at it and work on it you know that's the goal in life isn't it to just whatever you want to do just practice it all the time and improve and, and that was the goal and the same now you know you you know you always want to, want to do as best as you can you know and try your hardest that's true yeah we're going to take a short musical interlude break please don't go away join us for more as we return shortly on Probe the Act on Deep Stuff Radio. (laughs) 